Earlier this year, I had a quick go with the all-new Tahoe, a transformative evolution of Chevy's big boy SUV. And now I've got the even bigger Suburban for a few days, but this time with diesel power. I'm sure Rudolph could never have imagined during the invention of his eponymous engine that 120 years later, well-heeled American families would be driving 19-foot-long trucks powered by a motor bearing his name that is but a fraction of its original size and 16 times more powerful. But here we are with the 2021 Suburban, and indeed, this aluminum 3-liter inline 6-cylinder Duramax turbo diesel is an attractive option for high-mileage drivers. Equipped with 4-wheel drive, this Suburban is rated at 20 MPG City and 26 Highway. And as is the case with these types of engines, it's all about the torque. And this one produces the same 460 pound-feet as the mighty 6.2-liter V8, but does so beginning at only 1500 RPM. It's even paired with start-stop engine technology that's as smooth as butter. And you can barely even tell that it's a diesel under the hood. Chevy offers three engines on this new Suburban, so how do you know if the diesel is the right one for you? Well, if you tow, this one can't quite match the capacities of the gas models, but they're all very similar at about 8,000 pounds. But it's the diesel that offers the most torque at the lowest RPM, which is beneficial in moving your trailer. It also offers up to 35% better fuel economy and owns the lowest annual fuel cost of the Trio and its over 600 mile driving range will likely outlast your bladder. Now, even though you wouldn't describe any of them as being exactly environmentally friendly, it is the diesel that emits the fewest greenhouse gases. It's a $995 upgrade over the 5.3 liter V8 and a $1,500 discount from the 6.2. And it's available on almost every trim, with the exception of the rugged Z71. You can score a two-wheel drive Suburban Duramax for about $54,000, but that's not what I have here. This is a heavily optioned four-wheel drive high-level premier trim featuring big ticket items such as these 22-inch wheels, power retractable running boards, a very modern dual-screen rear seat entertainment system, and a premium package full of trailering and driver assistance features. MSRP, as tested, is $82,085, so yeah, this is about as expensive as a Chevy gets. Both the Tahoe and Suburban drive markedly better than before. It's by far the most noticeable advancement, lending credence to the big price tags. And this diesel feels great. There's no noise, no smells, no vibrations. So choosing this motor simply comes down to its credentials. Even without the air springs, these Magnaride dampers are really smooth, imbuing the Suburban with a sophisticated drive backed by a slick 10-speed automatic. It handles so much smaller than it actually is, and the steering is totally on point. And I love having an auto setting for the four-wheel drive system, which can also be deactivated altogether. And while the cabin is really inviting with great tech and comfortable seats, I have the same question here as I did in the Tahoe. Is this an $80,000 interior? It lacks a little panache for my liking. That being said, it will not leave you wanting for features. There's a huge head-up display, logo projection out back to help locate the kick sensor for the tailgate, every trailering trick there is, and a user-friendly touchscreen with wireless phone projection wireless charging, and a surround vision camera, but one that has its button only in here and not where it can be quickly accessed. There's a rear view camera mirror, heated second row seats, tri-zone climate control, and massive amounts of room in the second row and adult sized capacities in the much improved third row. As compared with the Tahoe, the Suburban is over a foot longer, so I hope you have a really big garage. It's also a sharp looking rig, particularly in iridescent pearl. So if you want the biggest SUV on the market with better fuel efficiency than a Honda Pilot, the Suburban Diesel is in a class of its own. For testdrivenow.com, I'm Steve Hammes.